Okay, Phil. There we go. Inside this coil is wrapped around these two sets of laminates. The laminates are the plates, laminating plate. They're laminated with, uh, they call them laminates because they're flat pieces of metal that are sandwiched all together and insulated from each other so they're not conducted. Inside this coil is, lam is two sets of laminates. In between this coil is two more sets of laminates. This outside set of coils is one set of coils. This inside set of coils is another set of coils. These act independently of each other. One of these sets of coils is, uh, is set up through the capacitor inside to give a 90 degree phase. That's why they're 90 degrees out of phase. This is one from here all the way to here is a full phase. So you got one, two, three, four sections of that. This is from these two laminates right here are 90 degrees out of phase. That's why this is over here. So basically we're dealing with the outside ones. These two laminates right here are, if you wanted to start with north, you'd say north and then south and then north and then south. Meaning with your induction ring out here or a ring out here and your magnet set up against it, you'd have a north, north, south, south, north, north, south, south, and as it rotated it would all change. So anyway, all the way around, everywhere you got a coil, like right here to here, is north, and all this is south. This is half inch, and this is a half inch, meaning a whole inch, and then one eighth inch in between is what I'm talking about. And then you've got another inch and one eighth here. So half inch magnets, this is also one half inch from here to here. So half inch square magnets will work, two of them side by side going north and two going south. And I hope that clears up that part of it. Let me see what else we have on the list and I'll get right back.